Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about basic probability. So probability is found by taking the number of favorable outcomes that you have, ones that you want, and dividing it by the number of possible outcomes there are. Uh, it can be represented as a fraction or as a percentage. Um, those are the more common ways to represent. So I'm going to show you some of the common probabilities that you've probably seen and heard before. You have flipping a coin, there's heads or tails. The probability with that is one half. The number of total possible outcomes is two, heads or tails, and the number of outcomes that you want is only one, because usually you want heads or you want tails. With a dice, or a, what's called a um, regular die, you have six different numbers as the number of outcomes. And usually you're only looking for one of the numbers, so one out of six. With a deck of cards, it's a common thing to use for probability because there's a lot of different options. Um, but the big thing is the number of total possible outcomes there are. If you don't know, in a deck of cards, there are 52 different cards. So that's sh that should usually be the denominator in your fraction unless you're reducing it. Things that they would ask you are um, to the probability of picking a suit, like a diamond, a club, a spade, or a heart. Um, you could uh, be asked, what's the probability of picking a certain number, like a nine out of the deck, or a red card, things like that. So however many of those that you're looking for is the number that goes on top. So I'm going to leave this as a question mark because it can really be a lot of different things. The key is the bottom number is 52. So let's take a look at some other rules for probability, basic ones at least. If you're looking for the probability of doing this or that, you're going to add the probabilities together. If you're looking for the probability of doing this and that, you're going to multiply the probabilities together. So let's look at an example of each. Let's say you're rolling a single die and you want a probability of rolling a 4 or a 5. Well, the probability of rolling a 4 is... 1 out of 6, like we said before, the probability of rolling a 5 is also 1 out of 6. Since we're talking about or, we're going to add, and whatever we get is our answer. It ends up being 2 over 6, which typically you'll see reduced to be 1 third, but for now I'm just going to leave it as 2 over 6. If you're looking at the probability of flipping a coin twice and you want a tails and another tails, you're going to multiply the probabilities together. So flipping a coin, landing on tails, the probability is one half. And then doing it again, the probability is also one half. Multiply them out, you get one fourth. So that's some basic probability rules and um, common numbers that you might have seen before. I hope it helps as a refresher when you get to these types of problems, and thanks for joining. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDES.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.